hello all my viewers i just want to drop this point here for us to listen to today you know sometimes when we talk about businesses we talk about uh, ideas we also talk about certain things that are happening so that we can learn from them do not do not compare your beginning to someone else's middle or finishing line do not compare your beginning to to someone else's middle or someone else's finishing line there is need for us to really talk about this briefly though there is this trend that has become very very common it has become very common in 1980s you know when there was no social media you can hardly know what your cousin is doing or maybe you how far your siblings or maybe how far your relative or your community person whether the person has become rich whether they have sent their kids to harvard university or not whether they are living in us now or not you know we can hardly know that because we are all living in different places and there was no social media so this tendency to compare this person because you don't even know as a parent you don't even know what the, the other person is doing or how the, the other person's family is faring. But with the advent of uh, social media, yeah, we have uh, the, the world has become a global village. Yes, I can say that the world has become a global village. So all of us are connected. It's not a bad thing. The social media is amazing. It's awesome. In fact, it has made businesses and careers to be easy. In fact, you can use the social media to feel so connected to your relatives who are not living close to you. So we are not saying here that there's something wrong with social media. Social media is amazing. It is the way we use it that may be a problem for us. So now the danger here is that there is this trend is happening so much right now. And this cultivating and developing a lot of problems in so many families, in the community, a lot of problems in the country and so many other places. When you look at the social media and then you see your classmates, maybe your secondary school classmate, or you see your cousin, or you see your sister, or maybe a friend or a neighbor, you discover that the person now lives in Texas, or maybe the person now lives in Dubai, or the person now is living an affluent life. He's living in Banana Island, he's driving big SUVs, he's living life, you know, enjoying life. What is your reaction? Do you just praise, you know, the person and after praising the person, you go home and then you start thinking. How did he make this money? And we all attended the same secondary school. And this person, I'm even more intelligent than this person. How come this person has made it and I haven't? Is that what you do? Or you start thinking of, hmm, there's something that is happening here. There's something fishy happening. Hey, these people, my cousin, my sibling, my, my uncle, my uncle's children, this, that. This is a trend that is happening in so many homes right now. Instead of enjoying maybe the Facebook that you're happy you have seen that your friend get connected because it's been a long time that you've not seen, you start thinking of, you start comparing your beginning. You start comparing yourself to the person you have seen. Why? Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? In fact, where it pains the most is when you see husbands, they start comparing their wives to the ladies they see on social media. Please, husbands, don't compare your wives to the ladies you see on social media. Please, wives, stop comparing your husbands to the ladies, to the men, the wealthy men you see on social media, the macho guys you see on social media. It's not okay. It's not going to develop or breed a healthy relationship between you and your spouse. Now, coming to the side of the parents. Sometimes parents, we do make this mistake. We do compare our children to their, our children, to their classmates. You find yourself telling, sometimes we, we, you start telling your, your, your child, hey, can't you see uh, this person's child? Can't you see this? classmate they have they bought a vehicle for their mother they bought uh, this a, a, a house for their mother they did this for their father they are doing this in their village 
They are taking titles. They have done this, they have done that. On the level of secondary school level or primary school level, you start comparing your child, asking your, your child, hey, those people that are coming out with distinction, you, why can't you do it? Well, don't, do they have three heads? It's okay to encourage, but then do not compare. As parents, you can in, in, inspire. Think in terms of how to motivate your child. Even if it's your grown-up child and you feel, ah, you want to give the child an advice. Advise, inspire, motivate. Do not compare because comparison have, it has a way of destroying one's self-esteem. And in fact, what it has resulted to today is that you see young children, you see wives, you see husbands that are trying to measure up to be who they are not. You see, more especially amongst the youths, they want to become this person who is driving a very huge, uh, big SUV. They want to become somebody they are not. Please, please, for crying out loud, we can help our communities. We can help our country. So as to reduce the level of vices, to reduce the level of immorality, to reduce the level of evil, that may be happening around because people are trying to catch up with somebody else that they saw on Facebook. And sometimes we unintentionally, we unintentionally fuel these feelings by such comparison. That's not fair at all. That's not fair at all. So remember, remember, if you're a dad, if you're a mom, if you're a wife, if you're a husband, if you are anybody who you think you are, you're, you're single, or as long as you are a human being, do not compare yourself to anyone. We all have, we all have different destinations and different times of arrival. Mark this my word. We all have different destinations and different times of arrival. Do not compare someone, do not compare your own beginning to someone else middle or finishing line. The person you are comparing yourself to, do you know how they started? Do you know when they started? Did you see all the challenges, all the obstacles, all the hurdles they were able to climb? What you're seeing is just the end product. You're seeing the results. And you think it just happened overnight? Things don't happen that way. Okay? So I just felt like dropping this point so that every one of us, we keep learning. Hmm? Okay? Never you do that mistake. If you have been doing it, if you are still doing it, please, you can start today to stop it. Stop comparison. It will lead you into doing what you never think that you can do in your life. You will start doing a lot of bad things because you want to catch up. Who are you catching up with? When you have eventually caught up with that person, then what? And then what happens? And what next? Come on. We all have different destinations. My destination, I, Mrs. Jennifer Chinere or Sakwe, I have a different destination from you. I know where I'm going. I don't have the same destination with you. And I don't have the same arrival time with you. I have no single intention to compare myself with anybody. And please don't compare yourself to anyone else. Okay? So just feel like dropping this point. We keep learning every day. It's for the good of all those who are listening to, to me. Remember, remember, remember. Click the notification bell like subscribe share so that all you my lovely viewers can have this my video your friends who are not even yet uh, my 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 facebook friends or even my youtube channel subscribers share it to them so that this message can pass up first when we hear something good we spread it abroad so that every one of us will benefit from that okay i'll be signing off for today take good care of yourself Bye.